Sinonasal malignancies are rare, but aggressive cancers arising from the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses. These tumors are divided into four prognostic groups based on histology and treatment approach. Good, intermediate, poor, and radiation-treated tumors. The good prognostic group includes esthesia neuroblastoma and low-grade adenocarcinoma. The primary treatment involves complete surgical resection. Esthesia neuroblastoma may require craniofacial resection for full excision, while low-grade adenocarcinoma can sometimes be treated using minimally invasive endoscopic techniques. Radiotherapy is added in cases with close or positive margins or lymph node involvement, and postoperative radiotherapy improves local control and reduces recurrence risk. With early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, long-term control is achievable in most cases. The intermediate prognostic group includes high-grade adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, high-grade adenoid cystic carcinoma, and adenoid cystic carcinoma. Radical surgical resection remains the mainstay of treatment, and deep or extensive tumors may require craniofacial surgery. Postoperative radiotherapy is essential, especially for high-grade tumors, to control residual disease, and advanced techniques like intensity-modulated radiotherapy are preferred to minimize damage to surrounding tissues. These tumors require a multidisciplinary approach due to their high recurrence and metastasis rates. The poor prognostic group includes highly aggressive malignancies such as sinonasal undifferentiated carcinoma and melanoma. Initial therapy for sinonasal undifferentiated carcinoma involves chemoradiation and surgery is considered for residual disease or local control. For sinonasal melanoma, surgery with wide margins is the primary treatment and immunotherapy with checkpoint inhibitors is crucial for systemic control. Radiotherapy is often reserved for palliative purposes or local recurrence. Prognosis remains poor, requiring individualized treatment plans and close monitoring. The radiation-treated tumors group includes lymphoma, plasma cytoma, and metastases to the sinonasal region. Primary radiation therapy is preferred as these tumors are often radiosensitive. Lymphomas respond well to protocols like involved site radiotherapy or combined chemoradiotherapy. Plasma cytomas are treated with high-dose radiotherapy alone unless systemic disease is detected, requiring management as multiple myeloma. For metastases, palliative radiotherapy is employed for symptom relief and local control. These tumors generally do not require surgical intervention and are managed primarily with radiation-based strategies. Key takeaways. Sinonasal malignancies are managed based on histological type, prognosis, and tumor extent. Treatment strategies span surgery, radiotherapy, and systemic therapies. For good prognosis, surgery and radiotherapy are used for long-term control. For intermediate prognosis, multimodal therapy with surgery and radiotherapy is necessary. For poor prognosis, chemoradiation and immunotherapy dominate. For radiation-treated tumors, radiotherapy is the cornerstone, particularly for lymphoma and plasma cytoma. Prognostic factors such as early diagnosis, complete resection, and tailored therapy significantly improve outcomes, while high-grade and systemic tumors remain a challenge.